Hi guys, this is uh, Raymond Navarre again uh, with East End Assemblies, owner operator. And yesterday we did a video on how to uh, pull a BGA off of a board. And today I just want to talk to you real quickly. And this is really for you engineering students out there. Um, and I'm hoping that you know these videos that I do will help some guys that are really just getting started and don't really know a lot about electronics. But I wanted to tell you that if you don't have a sixty or seventy thousand dollar piece of rework equipment, that it is possible to pull these BGAs off without, you know, using a piece of equipment that's that expensive. Um, number one, you can start off with a with a preheater, and you can also use a heat gun. Okay, I know this is a crude way to do it, but it will work. And basically, what you want to do is you take your preheater, put your preheater on. You can get this preheater for a hundred bucks on eBay. It's uh, Heiko 853. Just search eBay, you'll find them. And this heat gun you can get for like 30 bucks, okay? And um, basically let the preheater run for a few minutes, then put the, uh, the heat gun on, let it heat up the board. I mean, it would be perfect if you had some um, thermal couplers, but even if you don't, just go at it slowly. Just put it on low heat, and after maybe a minute or two, you know, with a pair of tweezers, just make sure, you know, get to the point of where it's, it's going to move. After you do that and you get your BGA off, you want to totally clean the surface of the board from solder. You want no solder left at all. And just like we talked about yesterday, after that, just put a thin level of flux down on the board, put a thin level of flux down on the BGA, and then you put your BGA back on. What's most important is that the BGA is scented perfectly. There's going to be an outline, you know, if you put the silk screening in properly, for the BGA. Make sure that the BGA is perfectly centered in the outline, okay? And then you go about putting the BGA on the same way that you took it off. Turn your preheater on, make sure the BGA is perfectly centered, take your heat gun, put it on top of that for, I don't know, maybe three or four minutes, and you'll be able to notice that the BGA is going to collapse. When you're putting the, the heat on from the top, you want to slowly move around in a circle. Do not just stay on one spot. Just slowly move around. Make sure you protect any parts on the boards that you have to protect, but you just want to slowly move around it, and um, you will notice that the BGA will collapse. Uh, depending upon the thickness of your board will depend upon how long you have to go at this. but. If you're doing any board and you're there for longer than six or seven minutes, you got a problem. You know, until you get really good at this, I certainly wouldn't suggest doing this on a board that uh, is going to be a big problem if you ruin it. But, uh, you know, with a little bit of uh, work, you can, you can get pretty good at this. Uh, so this is really just for the engineering students out there that are, you know, need to change a BJ on some of the projects that they're working on. This is Ray from East End Assemblies. Thank you for listening.